child of God in our worship. Oh, we came to give you worship today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
worship at your feet, and I will worship at your feet, and I will worship. Come on, let me be on this morning.
presence of the Lord. I need your touch, Jesus. I need your grace. My God. I need your presence. I don't know about you, but I need God's grace. Amen? Amen. Because it's only God's grace that is going to take us through this time. Amen? Amen. Come on, people. Amen? Amen. Yes. Amen. Happy New Year to one and all. May the blessings of the Lord continue to locate you in this 2022. Amen? Yes. And for those who are viewing by YouTube and live stream, Happy New Year. Thank you for your support throughout the year. May God continue to bless you as he continue to carry you through this 2022. Amen? Yeah. Amen. I'd be glad to be here today. Yeah. Oh, hey, nobody man on the other side for the big thing on last year. And God good. Come on, y'all be happy to be here. you have on our lives. We thank you for what you have done for us, how you kept us from January till December and brought us over on this first Sunday in January 2022. And for this we say thank you. Now Lord, as we look at your word, we ask your blessings upon your word and upon your people. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. And all of God's people say amen and amen. 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 Just want to mention our drummer. He is not feeling well. He's he's well, but you know circumstances. You know sometimes we come in contact with um, some people, and we don't want to. We want to make sure that we're okay, and so we 
try to isolate ourselves to keep everybody else safe, amen? amen? But we want you to keep the family in prayer, amen? Amen, amen. amen people, how many of you know prayer changes things? Yes. Yes. And like I say, it's not because of what we have done that things come upon us, amen? amen. And so we're going to look at why these things happened this morning. Now, in this year, I want us to tap into the things of God and receive everything that God has for us. If it's not a gift from God, how many of you know, I do not want it. That's right. I do not want it. And so this morning, I want us to look at a family who loved the Lord, but had to learn a lesson on, on how to wait on Amen. God. Somebody say, wait on God. Wait on God. Wait on God. And so I want you to look with me for a few minutes in the book of John, chapter 11. I want to read from verses 1 through 6. I won't keep you long. John, chapter 11, verse 1 through 6. Now a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany. That's John, chapter 6, verse 1 through 6. The town of Mary and her sister Martha. Am I in the right chapter? Yeah, 11. Yeah, 11. 11. John 11, verses 1 through 6. Through six. Yeah. Come on, y'all with me? Yeah. Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany. The town of Mary and her sister Martha. Come on, read with me. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereof. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abhorred two days till in the same place where he was. Once again, Lord, we give you thanks for your word and your people. Bless us now. Open our dark understanding that we may know that you have good things for us in this 2022. No matter the situation, no matter the problem, we know that you are right here for us. So we give you thanks for your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. I want us to focus on three purposes. Three purposes for Lazarus' death. Somebody say purpose. 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 Amen. Lazarus and his two sister Mary and Martha loved Jesus. They always opened their home to Jesus when he was around Jerusalem. And so since they were that close to Jesus... It is only fitting to send for him to come and see about her sick brother. Amen? Amen. Now, what's true of our text point of the relationship between Jesus and this family? What's three? Come on, somebody read it. Therefore, his sister said unto him, say, Lord, behold, he is Therefore, his sister sent unto him, Jesus, saying, Lord, behold, he, Lazarus, whom thou lovest, is sick. The relationship that Mary, Martha, and Lazarus had with Jesus gave them access to Jesus so that they can call upon him any time. That's right. That's How many of you know we have that same access to Jesus? Yeah, yeah. Because we love him and he loves us. Amen? Yeah. And so no matter what, I want you to remember that we have access to Jesus and we can call for help. Relationship. They call Jesus to come and see about their brother because their relationship, they know because of their relationship with Jesus, they knew that Jesus would drop what he was doing to come and see about that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now, I'm trying to draw something, an illustration here now. Mary and Martha and Lazarus was good friends of Jesus, and Jesus loved them. And so they told in their hearts that Jesus, whatever he was doing, was going to drop it when he heard that Lazarus was sick. Wasn't that, that 
Well, wouldn't that be the right thing for the pastor to do if, if they heard that one of their members was sick? Cancel out everything else and go and see about that member. Yeah. But I want you to look and see what happened with this case. But Jesus was doing about his father's business. And as much as he loved his family, he stayed focused on his plan. Hmm? Come on now, you're going to read me again and get into it. He stayed focused. The Bible says in, in verses 4, we're going to do the first purpose. We said we're going to do what? Three purpose for Lazarus' death. The first one, verse 4, John 11. Listen to what it says. It said, when Jesus heard that, you know, that, that Lazarus was saying, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified. The first purpose for Lazarus' death is to glorify God and to glorify his Son, Jesus Christ. Now, the Bible says that Jesus stayed two days longer. <laughs> he heard that Lazarus was sick, but he delayed going to Lazarus. Because you know, when we're sick, and, and, and sometimes we're sick so bad, we call the priest to give us the last word. And so Lazarus was sick so bad. But they thought if they could only get Jesus to come, that he would heal Lazarus and Lazarus would rise up. Amen? Amen. Now, Lazarus' sickness was not unto death, people. Lazarus' sickness was for what? To glorify God and to glorify his son, Jesus Christ. You see it in verse 4? Yep. Read it again. He said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the what? The glory, glory of God, that the Son of God might, might be glorified. Thereby. Now let's talk about sickness. Lazarus' sickness was not unto death. Lazarus' purpose of sickness was so that the God, the work of God could be demonstrated. Yes. A lot of times we are sick in our bodies. And we think it's on the dead people. Sometimes it's sick in your body. It's for the glory of God. Amen? Right. Now this demonstration was to show God's power to give life and to prove his love for us by giving us his son, Jesus Christ. Now God was going to get glory from what his son, Jesus Christ, was about to do. And so in order for him to get this glory... He had to do what? He had to wait until Lazarus, the Bible said, was dead for four days. Amen? Yes. And so Lazarus died for four days. So how many of you know when somebody is dead for four days, they are dead? Amen. Amen. Now sometimes they say three days, they say, my, they wasn't really dead. But four days, they knew that Lazarus was dead because somewhere in the, in the scripture the bible says that that the one of the sisters said jesus you just reach him lazarus is stink <laughs> four days dead and you know lazarus is stink but jesus is saying today this death is not this is not for his death but this is for the glory of god what i'm about to do today jesus is saying is for the glory of God. So if you were sick in your body and Jesus healed you, that is not for you to keep to yourself. Amen. That was for the glory of God. Amen? Amen. You know, people have cancer. Some people had cancer. Almost died. Came back. And if they don't get out there and tell somebody to give God glory for what he has done, you will continue to be sick. Amen. Come on, man. My God. When God heal your body, you ought to glorify him. Amen. If you read the word, every person life that Jesus touched, they glorify God. Yes, yes, yes. Some of us, we think that Jesus is supposed to do that. Yes, when his stripes we are healed, but we ought to what? Give him thanks. Yes, thanks. And glorify him. Amen. Yes, and so this death, this sickness 
that Lazarus was not unto death. And so some of you who may be watching online, you may be laying down sick. It is not unto death. It is for the glory of God. Amen. 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 Yes. People have been sick. But you need to get up and tell somebody about God's goodness. You need to go to somebody who was sick and tell them, listen, I was sick and God healed me. Amen. 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 How many of us are so ungrateful? We don't give God no glory. We get sick. We get healed. We get sick. We get healed. We get sick. We get healed. And no glory. No glory. No glory to God. Because only God healeth. Man can't heal you. I can't heal you. Only God can heal your sick body. Only Him can touch the sick. The song's just saying, I need your touch. I need your grace. I need your presence. Amen. And that is what we need. And so when Jesus delayed his time to go to Lazarus, he knew that when he reached here, Lazarus would be dead. And so he went and he said, don't worry about that. This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. So I'm telling you today, don't ever think that you have done something bad or something wrong because you were sick. And you're a Christian. Because a lot of people think, now some people do a lot of wicked things. People chop off their foot, chop off their hands. God ain't had nothing to do with that. The devil just destroyed them. Amen? Amen. But if you in God, if you notice God and he allowed you to get sick, like he allowed Job to lose everything, God is, does that for his glory. Amen. I know some of y'all want to say, I don't want to put nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that you're not sick of the day. Even in this time of the pandemic, if it attack your body, I am here to tell you it's not unto death. It is for the glory yeah. of God. Come yeah. on, some people give God praise. <laughs> See, you don't have to worry about what's an attack in your body. You don't have to worry if you come in contact with something. Just remember when Jesus strikes you are. Uh, Heal and it's for the glory of God. Amen? Amen. God wants to demonstrate his power. A lot of people in the earth and the world are going to know that God is real if, if he never does nothing. If he never do nothing, people will be like, I don't even need this God. You will, you, you even ain't bring you to. But let me tell you another thing. Somebody might die. But if that man of God was sick and they died, it's not that he did something. It's his life, his legacy is left behind so that somebody would know that this man or this woman had told him about this Jesus Christ and know that this man or this woman is resting in the presence of the Lord to get their reward. So it's still for the glory yes. of God. Amen, people? Amen. So you don't have to say that they were preaching and they died or, 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 or two pastors uh, catch COVID, COVID and they died. What they must be doing? They don't know. It's for the glory of God and sometimes God moves some people so that he can use some other people. Yes. Amen? Yes. For his glory, it's all for the glory of God. It's nothing that they have done God just sometimes, like Enoch, he love them and just call them home. <laughs> That's right. They say, Enoch, walk with God, and God love him so much. Tell one day, he say, man, come with me, man. I won't come down here all the time to, to walk with you and love you. I want you to be with me every minute and God, every second. God. Amen? Amen? And so what we go through, people, I want you to know, sometimes people talk bad about you. People do some nasty stuff to you. But this is to show the Christianity in you and so that God can get glory from your life. Amen. So Amen. don't go cussing out the people using the same tool the devil used. Use God to use love. And say, brother, sister, God bless you. Amen. I told somebody that, man, they were so confused and, and gefuddled up. It was like... <laughs> God bless you, brother. He can handle that. What he had said to me, he can handle me telling him, God bless you. So he left from there wondering what in the world or how foolish he must have been. Because this woman of God, he didn't know me. 
the ordinary clothes, ordinary person in the laundry mat, trying to get a, a, some stuff pressed, going on the line. And he said, Miss, do you, you see the line in the back here? I said, I'm sorry. And you, you, y'all, I said, God bless you, brother. God bless you. Just take it easy. I don't know where to go. Just go do what you have to do. And listen here, I know some foolishness he went on with. He looked like a fool to himself when he looked in the mirror. Amen? Right. And so that's what we have to do. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God, allow God love to rise up in you and tell that person, God bless you. Yes. Now how God bless him is God's business. Amen? Amen. Right or wrong? Yes. I, I would hope God would save him and change his stinking attitude. Amen? My God. Mm? And that's what you got to pray for them sometimes. Dude, you never know why God had me in the place to help him. Maybe he might have been a Christian. Because you know a lot of Christians have bad attitude. Yes. Come on, am I right about that? Come on, people. Y'all don't go sleep on me right now. Because some of y'all right in here might have bad attitude. Sometimes. Amen? Come on now. Go for me. <laughs> I got some people clapping down there. Bad attitude. Sometimes. I, I know I'm running off course. But I know, but one time I'd been in the plane, this woman was so nasty, I asked her, I said, what church you used to go to? Because sometimes, they go to church, they be in the choir, they be deacons and deaconess and ministers, and they got nasty attitude. Right, right. And I said that to her, so she could think about what church she could do, so she could tell me so I could know who a pastor is. Because if she got bad attitude like that, a pastor needs to preach something more tougher. Amen? Amen. So, Lazarus, dead, but Lazarus sickness was not on to what? Yeah. But on to what? For what? Glorify. And for who? Who else? Glorify Jesus. Glorify God and to glorify his son, Jesus Christ. Amen? Anybody got that? Yes. Yeah. Amen and amen. Let's go to number two. The second purpose. John 11 verse 5. Listen now. If I said anything I shouldn't have said, then you all forgive me and the Lord forgive me. Amen? Amen. You right on it. You're right on it. I'm not here to hurt and destroy. I'm here to, to help us. Amen? Because sometimes I know I have some bad attitude myself and I just have to talk to myself. Amen, husband? Amen. <laughs> so, the Bible said God's spirit was coming in my own time. But we got to correct that and fix that. I'm doing plenty better. Okay, John 11 verse 5 read. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Anybody see that? Come on, read that for me. Number two purpose for Lazarus there is to show Jesus great love for mankind. Come on, write that down. To show Jesus great love for mankind. Lazarus did give Jesus the opportunity to demonstrate his love, not only to the family, but to the whole entire world. Amen? John 13, 1 says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Galatians 2 20 says, Paul said it's like this, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I, yet I, no, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Listen to this now. Who loved me and gave himself for me. I, I can identify with Paul today. Huh? Jesus loved me. Jesus love you. Amen? Amen? And he will do anything for you. John 15, 9 says, As the Father hath loved me, so I have loved you. Continue ye in my love. No greater love than this that a man will lay down his life for a friend. How many of you know that Jesus loves us? Amen. Amen. Even though he delayed his going to, to, to Martha and Mary, to heal Lazarus, Jesus loved them. Yes. So I want you to know today that delay does not mean deny. Amen. Jesus loves us. I 
because he knows what's best for us. Amen? Amen. He knows what we need. And you know what we need and when we need it, what time we need it. Because whatever time it is, what are you going to do? He can meet it. Amen. Amen. Amen? Jesus' purpose for delaying coming to Lazarus to show his demonstration of his love that even though Lazarus was dead, he could still bring him to life. Amen. And so Jesus loved us so much that no matter what is dead in your life today, I mean, if you know that Jesus can raise anything that is dead, amen? amen. Come on, man. You might say I got a dead relationship. Jesus can raise that man. Amen. <laughs> Jesus can do it. Wives, Jesus can do it. He loves us. Anything that is dead in your life, your business might be dead. I'm going to watch it. Some persons might be watching and say, this business is going down. Your business might seem as if it's dead. But Jesus can resurrect that business. Come on. Some people sit out there, think, believing that, listen, I'm not going to make this. But I'm here to tell you that you ain't dead. Yet Jesus could raise you up. And even if you die, he could raise you up. Amen, Helen. Come on, Helen. Amen, Helen. Nothing going right like everything is dead like in Mary and Mama. They thought they lost their brother. You may think you lose some things in your life, but God is here to resurrect it yes. on this first yes. Sunday in 2022. Amen? Amen? Why? Because he loves you. And that's what people do for you who love you. Amen. He will come through for you. Amen? Amen? The songwriter wrote, I don't know why Jesus loved me. I don't know why he came. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. But oh, I'm glad he did. Amen? Come on, somebody say that. I don't know why. I don't know why Jesus loved me. Come on, people. I don't know why he came. Amen. People, come on, put your hands together and give God a great hand. Yes, a better day ahead, people. Yes, a better day ahead. I don't care what 2021 20, look like. How you think you were defeated in 2021? Jesus loves you. And this is a brand new year. This is a good year to trust him and focus on the good things that he has for you in your life. Amen? Amen. Stay, stay focused and don't lose hope. Amen? Amen? Now, the third one was six. This is the last one. Come on, people. John 11 was six. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place. He was. Read that one more time for me. Was sick. When he when he heard therefore that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. The third purpose for Lazarus' death is how to wait on God in great crisis. How many of us need to know how to wait on God in great crisis? We got to know how to wait on Him. Amen. So even in spite of them going to the graveyard and putting Lazarus in there, Jesus was teaching them that, listen, in the midst of crisis, learn how to wait and trust God. Amen. Things might not be going the way you wanted to do, but wait on God. Amen. Amen. Now, this was a trial for Mary and Martha on how to wait upon God. Lazarus was sick, and here it was. Mary and Martha sent for Jesus because they knew that Jesus will heal Lazarus, but like I said earlier, he delayed his going there for two days. 
And so Lazarus died. Jesus may not come when you want him to. How many people know that? But he will what? Be there what? On time. Somebody say he's an on time God. He's an on time God. Man, we got to trust him, people. We got to wait on him. Amen. Isaiah, uh, Psalms 27, 14 says, Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait. Jesus, Lord, why? Why did they say that another time? Wait. Somebody say wait. Wait, wait. wait. Stop running ahead of God. Sometimes that's what we do. We don't want to wait on God, so we run ahead of God. Like like uh, Sarah. Run ahead of God and think we could fix things, and all we ever do is mess things up. Amen. Let's Amen. stay in the back of him. Let's wait on him until he comes. Amen? Amen. Let's wait on the Lord. Isaiah 40, 31 says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. How many of you are ready to wait on God in 2022? How many of you have plans for 2022? Anybody have any plans for 2022? Nobody have no plans for 22? Nobody make no New Year resolution like... You know, this is what I want to do in 2022. Yeah. Nobody? Yeah. But you need to make some declarations. Yeah. What would you want to do? You can't just sit down and say, if it happened, if it happened. If it happened, it happened. If it don't happen, it don't happen. No, 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 no. You make a declaration. You decide on what you want to do in 2022. Yeah. And you stand up and you believe God for it, and you wait on him, and if you ask him for something, and he said something, and that does not look like it, you say, God, it. Amen, amen. I wait on what I ask my God for. Wait on, wait on the Lord, and be of good courage, people. Amen. He will strengthen your heart. Don't get weak. Don't get frail. Don't, 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 don't give up. Don't give in. Hold on to hope. God is in it. Some amen. stuff might happen in your life. You don't like it. But remember one thing. If you are in God, God is in you. Mm -hmm. He knows what you're going through. Amen. You're not alone. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll forsake, forsake you. He said, whatever you, you'll be in there, man. I'm with you. Amen. How you going to ever think, I'm not with you. I'm your God. And you, my child, and I love you. Amen. Amen. Jesus knows best people of God. God knows best for your life. So hang in there. Pray with God. Pray to God and ask him to help you in areas of your lives. Amen. Sickness is not unto death. Bad relationship is not unto death. Financial finances is not unto death. God can fix it. Your children might not be saved. That's not unto death. Trust God to save them and give them a brand new life. Amen? Amen. Husbands, some husbands are not saved. Some wives are not saved. But husbands and wives, I'm talking to you. Hold on to God. Trust God. Wait on the Lord. Stop pushing all kind of stuff down your husband's throat. Telling him that you're going to hell. You know, like that's a wife do that, you know. <laughs> they, they think they hold so holy. So they tell their husbands that you're going to hell. <laughs> Expect for a man to do any better when you keep telling the man he's going to hell. Huh? Amen. Tell the man you love him and you pray for him. Amen. Ask God to save him, deliver him. He might have some bad habits. He might be an alcoholic or a drug addict or some other funny things. But pray. Ask God to deliver him. Amen, people. And he's, a, he's Lord. If he's Lord, what he is? He is what? Deliverer. Amen. Nothing is impossible with God. Huh? He never failed me yet. I don't know what about I don't know about you. But he never failed me yet. He always come through. And when things are delayed, I don't worry about it because I know it's not denied. He's either saying wait is not yet, but I'm gonna do it where it's need to be done. Amen. Yep. And so sometimes when you see things being pushed back, say, Okay, God, what you doing? I'm waiting 
on you because I know if you have it in your hand, I know I am safe and I'm straight. Amen. Amen. Come on, people, put your hands together and give God a hand. Hallelujah. That is awesome, man. You know, because people are able People worry about all kinds of things in this 22 weeks. Some people even ain't coming to church because they're worried about catching this and catching that and catching the next thing. If you catch it, get rid of it and move on. Amen? Amen. Come on, people. Move on. If God bring you through it, what did what he, what he bring it to you through, through you and for? For what? His what? Glory. His glory. So glorify God. Amen? Amen? And so God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful new year. I want you to leave this one thing with you. I want you to stay focused. And always remember that the delay is not denied. Amen. 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 It might not happen right then, at that time, at that place. But God is working on it for you. Yeah. He never stops working. Amen. Yes. Anybody know he never stops working? Amen. He never stops need prayers, I want to talk to the person so the online. First, if you don't know this Jesus in 2022, let me tell you, those years were gone by. A lot of people, I can't judge nobody because I never judge people, but ain't everybody will see it. How many know the Bible say the road to hell is broad, right? Yes. Narrow is the way to... So some people die and go some other places. Amen? Yes. Am I right about that? Yes. yes. But if you don't know this Jesus Christ, you on that broad road, you could come off that broad road right now and get onto that narrow road that leads to everlasting life. And so if you want to come on this narrow road with great faith family and, and go and serve God, you can pray this prayer today. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know what you're going through. And if you're not watching now and you ever come across this video and you watch this, and you don't know this God is just simple as one, two, three. You don't have to hear no lightning. You don't have to hear no thundering. All you need to do is confess your sins. The Bible says, um, uh, Romans 10, 9, if you confess your sins, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised Christ from the dead, you shall be saved. Easy as that. Open your mouth. And ask God for forgiveness. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So I want to pray with you. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I, recognize I recognize that I'm a sinner. And, I'm a sinner. and I need a Savior. I need a savior. Dear, Jesus, Dear Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Me of my sins. Cleanse, me Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. Dear, Jesus, Dear Jesus, I open my heart to you. I open my heart to you. Come in today. Come in, today. Come in to stay. Come in to stay. Dear, Jesus, Dear Jesus, thank you. Thank you. For saving my soul, for saving my and, soul. Making me home. and making me whole. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you said that prayer today, welcome to the family.